Aloha fam, Mr. Micah Bang here at Select Shots. Thanks for stopping on by. Uh, today, I want to share with you my experience using this YN216 by Yong Nuo. Um, and I want to share with you why this light is great and came in so clutch in some very important events that I've had to cover. Um, and at the end, I will share with you my one one problem with this light it's no biggie um, but it can be cumbersome so moving on this is a example of a wedding that i was able to cover using these two lights fortunately i was able to um, be invited to the dress rehearsal and as you can see the uh, event is very low lit yellow lights and you know being able to have these lights set up to brighten up my subject meant the world to me it made my grading so much easier and the footage came out so much better um, and as you can see um, there is a bit of light difference so there's five hours of light difference between the shots um, so there is more light creeping in into the actual wedding day shot but nevertheless having these lights staged um, 45 off of the main the main subject which is the bride and groom definitely definitely helped um, here is a segment of the dancing of the night again the lights were in the same position just angled at the dance floor um, and it's about 12 feet um, from the center of the aisle and or the dance floor um, and as you can see it definitely added so much character to the shots especially with these free like light gel thingies that they included with the light I slapped some of those on and it definitely turned the dancing portion into an awesome experience, um, especially because the DJ didn't bring any of his own lighting, nor did the event, uh, the venue have its own lighting. So that's just one great example on how this light came in so clutch um, for me out there in the field. The, uh, the uh, next... The next example that I'm going to go through uh, was actually a concert that I was covering and the same issue, The uh, it's an up and coming venue so there was no stage lighting or you know lighting in general at the event and I told and I told the owner, I was like, hey, I got my studio lights, I don't know how great they're going to be but I can throw some of these, again, throw some of these on there to give some, give some character and color and this is what I got. Um, I would say the lights are staged off to the side, 45 from, you know, the center where the drummer is. And it's about covering, again, a good 10 to 12, 15 feet of area. Um, and definitely brought so much life to the concert and so much life to the event. And yeah, it's just another great example of how this light came in so clutch um, out there using you know in the in the field and yeah it is definitely one of those lights i'm glad i got very lightweight um you can slap some of these mpf style batteries on there and they last a great while i was fortunate enough to have um constant power for the uh for the light uh power source so that way i didn't have to rely on the battery and it took so much stress off um actually you know worrying about if, oh, my light's going to die, I got to go change the battery again, right? So having that constant power definitely, definitely helped. And super thankful that I picked up these lights for those events. Um, but stay tuned for my next video as I will be breaking down an upgraded budget light that I picked up. And I'm super stoked to share with that with you. Now, moving on to my only quarrel I have with this light. And it's this. You can take a listen. This is it. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan, the fan is awfully loud, um, especially during these talking head segments. I noticed that I can definitely hear it um, using my mic microphone setup and it definitely is distracting just a little bit i mean this thing it puts out some sound right i mean but other than that when you're using it 
out in the field and there's music playing and there's distractions. You can't really tell at all. But strictly just for like these talking head segments that I do for you, it can be quite the nuisance just like hearing that buzzing going on. And then when you're trying to edit your edit the audio for it, trying to you know mix out that frequency is very cumbersome. And that is my only quarrel about this light. Other than that, I would say if you are running on a budget, these lights are definitely a go-to recommendation. And I'll make sure to leave an affiliate link in the below in the description below so you can pick some up yourself. Um, and like I said, I have done a separate video on the unboxing and what's inside and my thoughts about it. So I'll make sure to link that up in the top. And yeah, I just want to thank you for hanging out with me and hearing my hearing my rant down about this uh, light. Like I said, it's not a bad light, but there's always something better out there, right? So until the next time, mahalo. Shoots!